Okay, family, today is the 8th, I believe it's the 8th of April, and I am at Sam's Club getting some gas, and I thought I'd just start a video off right here. Um, so I'm putting my purse back in the car, but I wanted to make sure I had my incense, my little whoop wop, and there go my bag. Let me show you what the gas is. Right. So let's get it all the way to say 39 maybe. Would it go to 39 without spilling over? Let's see if it'll do it. It did it. We got it. Hey girls. Hey. Look. I am uh, on the freeway. I'm heading to my baby's house. And uh, I came on to you know just talk for a little bit um just to catch up with my girls for a little bit so if, if this ain't your tilt then you ain't gotta sit in here with us today you know because we just getting ready to talk about some girl shit while i uh take this drive um at first i was like you know you know just was listening to some music on some other shit but then i was like you know what i could utilize this time to just catch up with my girls right quick um so then that's what's happening that's what we're doing Got my car, my car so motherfucking dirty. My shit is dirty as shit. I mean, like for real. I was talking to Bay a few minutes ago, and he went to go get a haircut, and he took the truck to go get his truck washed. And I was like, well, shit, the way this motherfucker is looking, nigga, we need to go back like a motherfucker. We need to go back, baby, because my shit look crazy right now. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, y'all, I've been getting you guys as, uh, messages about my last, uh, video that I was talking about. I was talking about my, uh, relationship and whatnot. And, uh, a few of you guys got really, really concerned. And, um, let me tell you something. I truly appreciate that shit. You know? I really, really appreciate that shit. And, and, and trust, trust and believe it is not going unnoticed. Um... Uh, let me say this. Let me start off by saying this first. Let me let me turn this shit down. Um, I know I know what I'm I know what I'm dealing with. Um, I know who I'm dancing with. I'm enjoying the music though. Okay. And in the midst of it all, um, I'm respecting my path. Now, one thing about your path, in alone your path and along your journey girls you're going to meet some people that are going to pretty much um, get you prepared and positioned for who you are to become throughout that path it might be people that you probably would have never met you know if it was up to you you probably would have never you know befriended her or him or you would have never gotten to that union or you would have never even spoke to them but it's just something how things just present itself and how the universe just comes around in full circle and it gets you prepared for you. Now, as you're preparing, to, as God is always preparing you for this place that you're going to, you're also getting prepared as well. And you're going to meet people along your path that you're going to have to learn some things from. Now, it might not be the cup of tea for somebody else, but again, you must respect your path. Now, not be no goddamn fool now. Okay, now let, let's let's be clear on that shit. There is a, a thin line be, besides being a motherfucking crash dummy on some old cuckoo nut type space cadet type status. Now, ain't nobody fucking stupid. And let's be clear. Uh, Auntie did not get this way through osmosis, okay? But however, I am enjoying where I am in my life right now. I am in no imminent danger. Let's just be clear about it. Um, I'm not worried, shaken, stirred, or afraid. Okay? Uh, as God is my witness, I am not afraid. I am not afraid um, of the challenges ahead for whatever they may be along my path and in my journey i'm just respecting it and allow and allowing it allowing it to take its course now um now also along your path as you begin to meet these people and these people come in and out of your life 
And have you ever had a friend or somebody in your life that you met and you was like, wow, this person just out the blue just started talking to me, just, you know, or prophesying on my life or this person just was just so hella cool. It was like, man, we didn't exchange numbers or nothing, but damn, we met in that line at, in, at the women's bathroom and this woman was just cool as shit. You're going to meet people that way in your life. You're going to also meet people that your energy is just off. It's just a pure disruption to your chi or your feng shui. And you're going to be like, wow, oh my God, I don't know what that energy was. I don't know if that was the devil. I don't know what that is. You have to pay attention <clears throat> to the rise and fall and the highs and lows of your energy. Okay? Very, very. That is very, very, very important. That is simply... Uh, the universe, the angels, whatever you want to call it, your subconscious or whatever, letting you know who to gravitate to and who to stay the fuck away from, okay? Now, that's your energy, not the energy of some other people or whatever because they can't feel what you feel, okay? Everybody don't play, pray for the same things and everybody is not going to the same place. Let's just be clear, okay? But, one more again, you're going to meet people, and you're going to learn there's different things there's keys that you're in, in different little uh tidbits and things that you're going to learn there's so much experience that you're going to learn from these people that you're going to meet along your path now everybody around you can say oh you know what i just love this person to death and then there could be one or two people say you know what uh danger get away go away and so, you're getting people over here saying this, you're getting people, a couple of people over here saying that. However, it is your decision to make. Based on your options, you are to make the best decision that you are to make, you know? And that is the way that I live my life. I call very beautiful things and abundant things into my life. I believe in the law of attraction. Um, if it's something that I feel unsettling, I don't want to gravitate to that. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to call that upon my life or I don't, I don't want, uh, that energy in my personal space. Okay. So with all that being said, you're going to learn different things from people, places, and things in your life. Okay. Once you have learned everything that you're supposed to learn in that particular instance, and therefore you're just going to move on it would no longer serve you you're going to move on like damn i can't even believe i spent such and such and such amount of years with that person i can't believe man you know what i didn't know this person but two weeks but damn what happened it just fucked up i don't know it was like damn the vibe was cool and then all of a sudden the shit just unraveled and just went haywire that's just the way life goes and again one more again you need to respect your path it is your path god put that calling on your life not for everybody else's for yours so <clears throat> everybody is not going to agree but one thing about it is to, to uh, be uh, respectful uh, and the next thing is to be cognitive cognizant third eye sharp woke up wake up however way you want to put it stay woke Whatever way, however way, goddammit, you got to be very, very cautious of what the fuck is going on around you girls on some real shit. On some real shit. And your intuition is cold. That's another goddamn thing, too. Sharpen your intuition, you know. Spend a lot of uh, you time with you and getting to know you. Then you'll get to know what you like, what you really don't like, and what you might fuck with at once upon a time in your life, maybe later on. You know what I mean? <clears throat> You begin to realize what truly serves you and what doesn't. You know, not the beliefs of your parents of what's been handed down generationally. No, you begin to really realize what serves you and what you really want for you. I'm telling you, I am truly, I'm, I'm learning so much about me in, 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 in this stage of, of my life. Man, I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. I'm enjoying everything. I'm enjoying everything that I see, everything that I do. You know, that's the way that I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it as a life lesson and a learning experience and shit. I ain't taking no L. You know what I'm saying? It's a lesson. It ain't never been no loss. You know what I mean? So, with that, girls, I say unto you, 
you know, enjoy your path. Call some good things upon in your life. You know what I'm saying? Even though shit might not look right and shit look wickety whack and throw together at that particular moment. But you know what? It ain't all bad, baby. Because guess what? You learn something that you need to know for later on. That's the way you got to look at it. I mean, this motherfucking freeway up. I am not bullshit with it, baby. So anyway, let me go. I'm going to catch back up with you guys in a little bit later. Probably when I get on in the big old city with my bib. All right, girls. I love you guys in a few minutes. Bye. Girl, grab my hand, let me tell on the dance. She's my friends, but I'm in France. <laughs> I'm just saying, Chris Williams ain't the I have truly reached my quota. I have reached my quota. Good night, family. Love you. Bye. Good night.